Hey gang, we are in Slidell, just to the east of New Orleans. And I'm on the very end of a street looking for a cemetery that's shown to be here. And thus far, I am just finding ruins, ruins and garbage. It's kind of spooky here. Looks like an old cabin in the woods there, or an old house, long since abandoned. Another one there. Nobody around. But there's a path here that goes north. And I think the cemetery is up this path. From Google Earth, I did see it, so let's four-wheel drive here. As always, I am armed. Goes for quite a ways here, so we'll make the hike and we'll see what we find up there. I'll pick it back up when I get up there. All right, coming around the corner here, the end of this little road, I do see uh, some internments. This is, according to the maps, Amos Cemetery, A-M-O-S. And it looks like it's maintained with a nice fence that surrounds it. A fence that is just a wire or a rope, yeah, just a twine. What do you suppose that's gonna keep out? Well, it looks nice. At first I thought it was a, one of those electric, you know, I, maybe they're building a fence, it's just a plumb line or a survey line. So here you go, this is typical in the south. Vaults just placed on the ground, the old pressure cookers. And Boy, there's not much here. There's not much here, which tells me we're walking on graves. We are walking on graves. I'm sure, unmarked graves, I mean. Well, homemade stone, the Lord is my shepherd. This is Virginia A. Henry, it looks like. She was born in 1895, April, passed in 1971. Now you'll see these concrete slabs over internments, burials. And it's, at a lot of the cemeteries in the Midwest are really in the East and in England and Scotland this was to prevent grave robbery. But in here it's, here it's to keep the bodies from coming up. And I'm not talking about zombies, I'm talking about flooding constantly water table. And literally the bones start showing themselves. And in really bad cases, the coffins or the day or caskets of recently do. You can look online and see the pictures of metal caskets floating down the bayou. Helen Amos, so, Amos Cemetery, passed in 2008. So what are the stories of the Amos family? 
John Outlaw, Private, U.S. Army. World War II, passed in 88. So he's born in June of 21. Oh, just over 20 years old when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor. If my math is right. We have more Amos family here and another veteran. These people served our country, these men, and there are women too. Alphonse Joseph Amos passed in 84 and he was born in 1927. So he was a lot younger. Wow. A lot. He he got in underage, or right at the age. Simmons. Look at these vaults. So they're block cement sides, and then they have like a topping, it looks like. Very quiet back here. Very serene. It's hard to find a cemetery these days where you can get quiet. Julia Scott, 1937, 2019. David, passed in 08. Randolph Scott, 2011. Beloved father, Randolph, beloved brother, and of course Julia the mother, at rest faithful and love forever. What were their stories, I wonder? Long since have come off. Sad. Amos, Mr. Richard C. Amos, 1989 passed away. This is one of these hidden gems, guys. I did a lot of research just coming down here. If you go on Google Earth and just say cemeteries near Slidell, cemeteries near, they all pop up and then you can zoom in and go, hmm, it's a little tip for you. Hunters and affectionados, I know we're called taphophiles or whatever, but I don't like that word. Sounds like pedophiles or something. I'll just say, I'm going to call it cemetery affectionados. That's what we should be calling ourselves. Tillman, passed in 1966. There's a big slab here, look at that. Just imagine how many people are under. They're all unmarked. Somebody here all off by themselves. All alone at the end. Robert E. Avery. Avery, the name of a pirate. Famous pirate. Passed in 2013. You know, I all, of course, curious the morbid side of me. I would give anything to open that up and just look. Respectfully, but sorry, I'm morbid. How many of you want to see inside there? <laughs> or maybe an older one. He passed in 2013. I don't want to see anybody that just died in the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years. So yeah, it looks like they're putting up a fence post here.
It's nice to see. It's mowed. I was expecting much worse. Look at this, a flower pot underwater. Here's a double vault, it looks like. Empty. Might be a receiving vault for the cemetery. Could be this where they're, well, this is their maintenance house. This is where they're keeping all their, all their stuff. And lastly, the littlest vault that I've ever seen. I have to say. Sadly, no markers, or the markers are long since gone. You can only imagine the little one or little ones that are in there. All right, gangly gang. I am headed out of here. That was interesting. You never know what you're gonna find. All right, let's get back to the truck and skedaddle. <laughs>